If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the leaked Ultimate Kickoff promo that will be coming to Madden pretty soon, as well as what it entails, players involved, and kind of just how this promo usually goes. Now, guys, we did see this promo last year. If you guys have been around Madden long enough, you know about this promo. But if you don't, I will be explaining it in detail today. Um, it was leaked over on the Mutt stream. I'll be showing you guys a, stream, a screenshot of that in just a second. But before we get into today's video, guys, if you are into the channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to my boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for 23K, guys. I really do appreciate that. Next goal is 24K and hopefully 30K at some point by October. But, guys... Um, make sure to smash the like button. Can we get 100 likes on this video, guys? If this gets 100 likes as well, I do plan to do a Z gameplay today for you guys keep smashing the like button. So make sure to do that, guys. And when I show you guys these players, if you do, are you, if you're excited for the kickoff players or you do want to pick up some of those new Superstar MVP promo part two players, go down below to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle for 15% off, guys. The coins are discounted right now. So if you do use code Poodle, you get an additional 15% off the, the coins. So make sure you go down below and you take advantage of that opportunity. Or if you want to buy the players directly, there's that option there too instead of buying coins. A little bit safer that way. But yeah, guys, let's head on over to the screenshots to show you guys. When Carillo was showing off today the Superstar MVP uh, set. He did show a leaked picture right over here on the left. Ultimate kickoff subcategories too. Complete the sets there in ultimate kickoff players and team performance collectibles. So that alone seems very similar to last year's ultimate kickoff. It's a pretty cool picture right there. I do like that. Hopefully this promo comes soon. Usually it comes within the week of kickoff. So anytime between this Thursday coming up and the week following within team of the week and everything. So we should have a really next good week or two. Of Madden guys, but I'm gonna go over to show you guys some of the uh, the sets the players and some stuff So you guys can get an idea for how this promo typically works, but that is super cool that he acts I don't know if he accidentally leaked it, but I'm happy. It's there. It's good to know um, but Yeah, let's go check that out. All right guys So with ultimate kickoff being confirmed that does mean we're pretty much on track for a similar content schedule as last year now That's kind of scary to say because last year's content schedule was one of the worst, but this is regularly scheduled, like I was just saying in my earlier video. This is regularly scheduled programming, something we do expect, something that usually happens. This kicks off the Madden season, in my opinion. Like, this is the first, like, it's not the first promo, but it's called Ultimate Kickoff for a reason. It is the kickoff of the season, where we start getting into the, our weekly content, our seasonal content. Now, last year, kickoff brought about some good players. These are the ones right here. We got Khalil Mack, we got Hopkins, we got Rodgers, we got Sherman. So there was four players. Now, this promo wasn't set-based. It was very simple. There, It was kind of like Superstar MVP without the sets you buy packs the packs give you pieces you use those pieces to build these cards now it did bring about some collectibles which are super cool which i'll go into in just a second now as far as the collectibles did go guys it was very simple there was two things if one you played a solo and you, you did this little set and you got one random team now these quick sells these teams collectibles quick sold for training so the way it worked was let's say there's, there's 32 nfl teams you got the giants the niners the chiefs whatever it was Essentially, there was a thing on the back for every win it got, the training value went up. So you were able to sell at the end of the year after this, around the Super Bowl. So, for example, let's say you got the Giants, you were unlucky, they win three games. Uh, it only quick sold for like 600 training. Now, I actually got the 49ers. Who would have knew? Super Bowl contenders. So that quick sold for a ton of training. So pretty much, you want to make sure you get a good team. Now, can you do it over and over again? I don't remember if it was a one-time thing or multiple. I think it's like, I you think you could have picked a team, but I went with the random one to give me a team for cheap. So make sure you're getting that done when that does come out, hopefully again. And another thing that was cool was there was player collectibles that increased weekly. So there was guys like Carson Wentz, 83 overall. Uh, let's say Minka Fitzpatrick, 83 overall. And pretty much for every win that team got, they did go up in overall. So let's say you got Carson, 83. And it, it capped out, I think, around... Uh, I forget when it caps out, but it caps out. They cap out at 93 overall. So pretty much after like 10 to 12 wins, the cards maxed up to 90 to 93. So Carson Wentz can go up to 93. So if you got these cards for cheap, essentially it was just kind of like an investment. Like, so pick players on good teams or even better dark horse teams. Like let's say the Giants, you think they can get eight to eight to nine wins. Or let's say a guy like, like last year, the Niners, who were dark horse candidates. Like you pick them, um, they got the 12 plus wins. And now the player goes for a ton of training and a ton of coins. So just make sure you're checking that out. So that is one aspect of the kickoff promo. And then the rest of it, like the players weren't the biggest of deals last year, guys, because they were super expensive. They were very hard to obtain, very hard to power up. Now, of course, they're cheap, but still. But let's get into the stats. I want to show you guys what these cards look like. So Khalil Mack, but this is like a this is the cards that we could be expecting in a week. So if you like the stats in this card, you might be seeing something similar. Six foot three, 82 speed, 84 excel, 84 strength, 85 tackle. 92 play rec, 86 block shed, 90 power move, 85 finesse move. Now, right now, guys, this would be one of the top or the top outside linebacker in Madden, considering you can get the power move, you get the block shed, 
you still get the high finesse move, you get the high play rec, and you get really good athleticism in comparison with a good tackle and a good height. Um, Khalil Mack, of course, was going to be great, but last year this card went for like 400, 600k consistently. Because the kickoff, the kickoff players were hard to do. They weren't as simple as like pulling them. It was like you had to, I think pretty sure it was a set. And to do them, you had to like, you pretty much, it's kind of like the MVP packs. You had to do a lot of them and get the lower piece players to finish them. And it just ended up being super expensive. It was very money grab last year. The promo was great, but the players were just hard to get. Next, we got DeAndre Hopkins, wide receiver, six foot one. 87 speed, 94 jumping, 90 catching, 90 catching traffic, 90 spec catch, 87 short route running, 86 medium route running, 83 deep route running. Now, if you guys haven't seen my morning video of Julio Jones LTD, go check that out. He looks very comparable to Julio. So pretty much what Julio we have is a DeAndre Hopkins S guy. So honestly, that Julio is pretty good considering he looks honestly better than this Hopkins or around the same. Um, but yes, Hopkins was decent. I mean, we everyone liked Mac last year. A lot of people used their power pass on him for a little bit. Hopkins wasn't too great just because of his speed and uh, the fact that he was just too expensive for what he's worth. Next, we got Aaron Rodgers. So Aaron Rodgers is 6'2", 76 speed, 91 throw power is really good. 92 throw short, 84 throw mid, 88 throw deep, 84 throw under pressure, 90 throw on the run, and 85 play action. Now, this quarterback right now would be decent in Madden because at the end of the day, he'd be very comparable to Pat Mahomes, uh, except like he was 600K. Pat Mahomes is not that much. So now that we have Pat Mahomes in these days in Madden, you don't always have to go for that Aaron Rodgers. Now, people do love Aaron Rodgers' release. So I could see an aspect where you might need Aaron Rodgers on your team because people are just obsessed with his release. And of course, if he has the same stats though, like that, he wouldn't be able to get the, the abilities you want. Now, I don't expect another Aaron Rodgers because Aaron Rodgers isn't exactly the Madden sweetheart anymore in terms of how many Aaron Rodgers we do get. Uh, it could be someone a bit newer. I mean, a uh, kickoff Pat Mahomes would make sense because we did get an MVP Lamar. Give us a kickoff Mahomes. Mahomes actually does play the kickoff game on that Thursday night against Houston Texans. So I think a Mahomes kickoff would be nice. Clyde Edwards Hilaire kickoff with our MVP rookie premieres would be super cool. A Travis Kelsey kickoff I could see. I could see maybe a Tyree kickoff. I could see a lot of the good cards. I could see a Deshaun Watson kickoff. A JJ Watt would make sense. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh things here. Now what to expect in terms of everything, guys, before we get into Sherman, like I told you, it's gonna be pack heavy. Gonna be some sets and some good ROI long-term investment type things. Like I said, the training cards, the uh, collectible training cards, the team collectible stuff. There's gonna be some pretty decent stuff, some pretty fun stuff, and a lot of solos. We did get a lot of solos for this last year. Now, do I think they'll be as bit money grab as they were last year? Hopefully, they do improve that because last year people couldn't afford the cards. They just weren't affordable. Way too expensive. No one, no one. I never had a single kickoff card in my team, which is too expensive. Uh, let's see, Sherman, six foot three, eighty-four speed. The curse of Sherman, always too slow. Eighty-five excel, ninety-one agility, ninety-four jumping, ninety-three play rec, eighty-seven man coverage. 94 zone coverage, 82 press. Here's the beauty of Sherman though, guys. You power him up in our current Madden and you chem him up with lockdown. He is going to get to a 98 zone coverage in the first month of Madden. That is absolutely ridiculous. Lockdown times three. Um, you're going to get powered up. Gonna have like a 97, 98 zone. Gonna have a 95 press, 96 press, and a 91 to 90 man coverage. He's going to be the most lockdown corner in the game with like a 96 jumping, 97 play rec. He's gonna be the most lockdown corner in the game. Super slow. So you're going to need sprinter on him. If you can manage to have a team with sprinter and you get him sprinter on him, you could potentially get him to like an 86 speed or an 87. So 87 speed. And if you haven't been a Niner Steam team, guys, forget about it. Niner Steam team, this guy's going to absolutely shut down everyone. Niner Steam team, you're probably going to get him to like an 88, 890 speed uh, with sprinter. That's really, really good. In my personal opinion, guys, I do hope kickoff was great. Like the concept of kickoff is great. Fun promo to start the year. I just really hope that they do go ahead and fix what was wrong with the last year. Make it so that the cards weren't as hard to get. Add them to the packs, give them a decent pull rate because honestly, it really sucked that they had good cards but no one could touch them. And the worst part was that they blocked power up sequences. So right, all year, I had DeAndre, Hop I had DeAndre Hopkins powered up last year because I got him that. I never finished his power up because it called. I had to get him to finish the power up. I didn't want to waste my power pass them because I didn't really want Hopkins powered up anyways. But I had him free, so I wanted to do it. Uh, I didn't want to waste my power pass, so I had it somewhere else. And then. This Hopkins card went for 300, 600k, like a long part of the year, like until well, while he was relevant, at least he went for a lot. And then once no one really cared about him anymore, it was too. I didn't want Hopkins, so that's what kind of sucked. As far as that, I really hope they make it a little bit more accessible because it was way too expensive. And like I said, Khalil Mack, I stopped powering him up. I went, I went to Von Miller because Von Miller had the series master. Khalil Mack and Von Miller were both ser uh, series master and this kickoff. Von Miller was free with trophies, and Khalil Mack cost 600k. So hopefully they change that because it really just messed up a lot of power up sequences. But guys, that's about it for this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. We're, our goal is 30K by the end of October, but I'll still be happy with anything above 25K, guys. So let's keep growing. 
I have, you know, the goal for the year. We're still, we're still on pace. I really appreciate all you guys for the support. We did it 23K. Thank you so much. Give this video a big thumbs up, guys. And make sure to go down below, comment, what are your kickoff predictions? What players would you like to see? Are you excited for this promo? Is this your first time being a part of a kickoff promo? And guys, if you need coins to pick up any of these players, we did get the Super Saiyan MVP promo part two today and kickoff coming pretty soon and LTD Legends tomorrow. So if you guys need coins for all this, you know what to do. Go down below to muttreserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Guys, the coins are already discounted on sale. Add the 15% off on top of that and it gets even cheaper. Pick up some coins instead of wasting your money on packs. It's always better, guys. And if you send me a screenshot of Twitter of you getting the coins, I will follow you back on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. I'm out. Peace.